I said, Red, uh, hurry, take me off. No, Paul, stay, stay. <laughs> no, 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 please, please, please. I wanted to ask about your manager that day at Old Trafford was Harry Redknapp. And you and Harry Redknapp, you just seem to have a great relationship. Yeah. Did, did you feel like he got the most out of you? I think he was one of the best for me because he wasn't a coach. He was a, a, a proper manager. So he he was capable to handle different, 20 different brain, different mm. culture. He was intelligent in this. Apparently, the people maybe uh, think that uh, he was too kind, too calm, and uh, because he didn't want to have a friction with with his player. But I have to tell you, he wasn't really really quiet because mm. uh, three, four times we had a, a very hard confrontation in his office. But uh, this is a part of the the game between mature people, you know, intelligent people. You can have, you know, friction. You can go close to have a fight with yeah. each other. But at the end of the day, when uh, you look to each other's eyes, uh, you know, as mm. a man, okay, I respect you. Absolutely, you are my, my manager. Now I'm on the field. I'm going to give you no 100, but 200% because uh, you were good to me, honest. Uh, you speak in my face, you know, without, uh, you know, tr have a trick, you know. I prefer to, to receive a good, uh, I don't want to say the word, but in the face uh, rather than Lots of talking yeah, yeah. behind. And uh, with him, uh, I have to tell you, I think he was one of the best in take, um, the best from me. Lippi is another one in Naples. He was a good manager. He won the World Cup uh, with Italy in 2006. It's not a, a, for accident because he was a good manager too. But Redknapp, I have to tell you, fantastic man, honest man, very, very, very good manager. And uh, it was uh, funny to, to have, uh, spend the time with I, him. I can see by the smile on your face yeah, you enjoy yeah, yeah, speaking about Harry. Was he good? Like if you did well for him on the pitch, was he good with you? Did he give you time off and let you enjoy your family and, and time in London, Harry? Or was he always quite uh, to, stern? And To be honest, uh, I had a problem with him because he gave too much a day off. Oh, okay. So, really? so, uh, yeah. I used to remain a child who hit my own on Wednesday or Tuesday, depends on the day they gave it off to the players, because, uh, you know, uh, I couldn't accept, it, you know, too much uh, time yeah. free. Because uh, anyway, at the time, uh, we used to play Intertoto Cup, uh, you know. I know that uh, players need to, to relax sometimes because they play uh, every two or three days now, even more than in the past. But the time uh, I was thinking that uh, West Ham had the, the talent to 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 stay, I don't want to say top three, four, but top six uh, regular. And then every year we were suffer, you know, middle table to have on, on the league. I came from a different culture and I see Milan, I won the league there with Juventus, I won the UEFA Cup, uh, Super European Cup with the Milan against Arsenal. I remember that I used to play with a top, top footballer like uh, Baggio, Baresi, Maldini, they were at the top um, uh, level in the world. I remember that I didn't ask one day one off. Day, yeah. mm. It's obviously a different culture. I should adapt myself in here. But uh, in my opinion, we should have much better run in the league. And then when something went wrong, he, he started to give it one day, two days off. Say, Gaffa, we need to work more in my opinion, <laughs> because if something goes wrong, it's because we need to work better. I bet, I, I bet the rest of the boys weren't happy with you, though. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but uh, for this reason, I was nearly to fight with men. You know, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, we, we had a, a great respect to each other because otherwise I couldn't uh, wear, you know, the armband mm, for two years and a half. So it means that uh, the message arrived slowly, gradually mm. in, in, the, in some player's brain. And then at the end, uh, I think, um, um, yeah, we had a friction, but because <laughs> yeah. he, he wanted to give me Better too much. for the team now. <laughs> was, there, was there any friction? Do you remember Everton away, where Everton's goalkeeper gets injured, you catch the ball rather yeah. than try and score the goal, you get a FIFA fair play award. Was any friction with Harry there? Was he like, no, I you tell should have you, scored? Uh, how, is, uh, ironically, you think, uh, okay, I walk uh, on the tunnel at the end of the match, all the with Everton players, they became my friend. Yeah, but... And then my teammates, uh, in an instant, they were <laughs> my enemy. Enemies, they wanted to fight me. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? Say, I can't go in now because they were, say, come on, yes, a good draw, one on, one on. 
say, what was going on? <laughs> no, English football, fair play, yeah. good, you know, and respectful football. I say, oh yeah, I came here. And now, uh, Red Donna came close to me and say, Paolo, oh, the lads are very angry. <laughs> and say, why? 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 We three draw points, Paolo. I saw that Harry, three points. We should score three points. We need two points. We need <laughs> a few more points to stay up. He said, okay, we, we win the next game, which is, uh, there is no problem. Right? But, uh, <laughs> so I went to the shower with my back in the wall like that. <laughs> and I was worried. I was, but Stuart Pierce wanted to fight me, I remember. He said, he's, he's really angry now. Say, I'm ready to fight. I never <laughs> give up. But 20 versus one is difficult <laughs> now, yeah, yeah. see, but, well, but at the end, they, well, they understood, they accepted, of course. Yeah, and another another famous game, West Ham 5, Bradford 4, uh, February 2000. When you watch that game back, you're getting fouled left, right and centre. The referee's not giving you a penalty and you say, take me off, yeah. I've had enough. Yeah, but someone uh, told me, even uh, in the last few days, uh, you didn't behave as a real professional because you wanted to leave the feeder. Not calm, I said. It's obvious that is not the best behavior to to watch mm. because the people, uh, the crowd, have paid the the money. They have uh, lots of expectation on on you and also your teammates. It's obvious, but uh, my genuine thought was, I need to go out because I can be a problem now for mm. the team, for the fans. Because if uh, the referee keep going with this attitude, I'm going to have maybe a bad reaction, maybe, maybe gonna send, send off. me off. Yeah. Because since the, 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 the first penalty, that it was an incredible penalty, with the VAR now, they should we, give we me penalty for nine, sure. Yeah, nine, it's nine, a, it's yeah. a save, come on, get up, get up. But referee, I was angry. But at the beginning of the second half, even more, the third one, I said, Red, uh, Harry, take me off. No, Paul, stay, stay. <laughs> no, 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 please, please, please. After 45 seconds, one minute, you know, my brain starts working really well, in my opinion. And then the people start chanting, chanting you know, uh, my name. I say, I can't uh, leave this field. And now we have to go back and win. And then at the end, we are 4-2 down. We won 5-4 five, 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 four, 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 at yeah. the end. 